So, welcome to No Shame, episode 42. We have the Strabanable on this weekend. So, young kid that we've known for a long, long time. From, what time you probably start coming out? 13 years of age? 13, yeah? 14, yeah. yeah. 13 years of age, sucking you in the mouth and there's nothing <laughs> you can do about it. No, when, when James is coming down, Sucker I know him a back. long, long time. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you're fucking in now, man, you. Yeah, but a good little time. But look, James is a... James is a superstar now, so started off as a 13 year old, and now he's a superstar. And what we're going to do on this episode of No Shame is we're going to bounce through between them years. Bit of crack that we had in Iceland, bit of crack that we've had along the way, and even at the Dublin show, uh, uh, only the other day, the someone tagged that po- uh, picture of you. Is that in the crack? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> screaming. It was a great picture of James <laughs> right? at the Dublin show, uh, the UFC Dublin. The camera comes by, and everyone's going mental, and it's just James. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracker, isn't it? It is a cracker, isn't it? It's a cracker. So, well, let's you start it off. So, yeah. how's life been now? It has it's, to be a bit crazy now. Ah, uh, it is. It's just a bit, do you know what I mean? When you're sitting back and actually like looking at it for what it is, it's a bit weird. But I'm just in movie little zone, do you know what I mean? I'm just floating around and you just don't pay any attention to the, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know yourself as well, the way it is. And you, just, a... you just keep doing you and don't let anything else come in the way. And you know what I mean? Because it's, all that outside stuff, it's it's nice and it's all good and all, but it doesn't actually matter. No. Do you know what I mean? Especially in the game that we're in. Do you know what I mean? You need to be, you need to be in the game. Selfish is the you, same, need, you have it? to be. You have to be in the game and then selfish <laughs> in it. And it's nice and all. Everyone though thinks, oh, you're coming up. You're as you say, everyone's like, oh, you're becoming a superstar or whatever. And but you can't, you can't focus on that stuff. No. Is it true when they say, beware of what you wish for, cookie? Exactly. And you when you get I mean? there, then you're sitting back and you're going. Is that really what I want? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was only having that conversation yesterday about like and Nate, Nate was saying to me one of the guys like, What was it like the first time? And I was like, It was it was actually a bit scary, like trying to get a cup of tea in the fucking tree arena and I was bombarded. <laughs> what yeah. the first time that ever happened to you, like um, so that I know that Straban is yeah. like that all the time. So Straban, little town just on the edge of Northern Ireland, I would know it well. I would. Yeah. It's a savage little spot. Yeah. It's fighting town of Straban. <laughs> the Straban. That's uh, a great place, so it is. But I'm a. Since I've but been like. You'd be famous there, like. Yeah. So, so outside there, what was the. What was the. Well, not the crazy. Not the worst one, but. What was the not moment where you were like, shit, that this was is crazy? Probably the, the time that I was meant to fight in the Sri Arena. Oh, yeah. And the, I got injured. I hurt my knee. But I still showed up to the event. Oh, 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 right, right. oh, that was when you and Kiefer and yeah, yeah we right, went right, together. Right, right, so. And I swear to God, it must have been the whole like as I walked in, the whole stands just stood up. I was like, "Go on, Jim!" And I was like, "Stand up!" And I was like, <laughs> "It's all well and good when you're fighting and stuff. You know that there's going to be people there coming to support yeah. you." But I wasn't fighting. I was just in as a fan. They watched the boys fight, and everyone was like, "There must have been about over like a few hundred people lined up to get pictures." And I was like, yeah. "Wow." Do you know what I mean? And the sweat was dripping off my head. I was standing there going, holy fuck, this is mad. That's graph, Do you know what I mean? It? And you're just trying to you know, speak to everyone and be you know, high energy and like speak to everyone. And it was and it was just different. I was like, wow, this is this is a bit mad. Do you know what I mean? People were actually like coming to hear just people were coming saying, oh, I just came from like New York. They come and watch you fight. That's do you know what weird, I mean? And you're sitting there going, wow, this person from New York knows who I am. They just came to watch me do something that I love. Really, I I think uh, I think after a little while, uh, kind of like a little sep, won't say a separation between, won't say ordinary guys. Um, I'll actually go off the subject with this. There's a, there's a I was I was only saying this last night as well. Right? I'm watching a thing. Well, I'm not I'm not watching a thing. She goes asleep, and we end up watching it. Right? It's called Ninety Day Fiance. Right? <laughs> and I mean, it's about people that go away to different countries. Right, James, and they marry people that they don't really know. Right. But it shows you the people on the outside of the people that we're always looking at, like are just these people that you could sell them anything. Yeah. And when the people are walking through the door, like, it's like kind of like catfish. They don't know whether they know them yeah. or not. And like uh, you can tell by the look in their face, like Pop Boy could walk through that door and not be the picture of your woman. And their brain is set where it's just like, no, this person is who we need. This is the love of my life. This is so they kind of set their brain, brain in a way. That kind of that, 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 that obsessed with <clears throat> this person and they don't even know them. They don't. So. I, I always say, is it is it is a weird thing on the other side when somebody gets obsessed with, like with people? With people. If you must. like, imagine yeah. being that person. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say because it's me. Like a, I'm not like a people. Like, <coughs> do you know what I mean? I've fucking met loads of different celebrities and stuff, and I respect everything they do. But it's I don't. I'm not that kind of. I would take more inspiration from my next door neighbor. Yeah. 
just making it to the, the headline in the local paper yeah, for yeah. doing something. Not not the, the Toronto team though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not talking about the guy team though, aren't you? Not. Know? Oh, <laughs> he smoked us at the weekend. Oh, was just making it. Yeah, at least good. It was made. He was made in his team. Yeah, he was uh, made. Yeah. No. He's a professional at least. You know what yeah. I mean? So. No, no it's a good side. And they have coppers, man, it. so they have the best session place going as well. <laughs> no, man. But I know, so you're getting the inspiration. Like, guys, never, I mean? never been up, like, attached to like, like the guys in the Tron team. Do you know what I mean? I would, like, people I came from school with, like Cal McShane, he plays in the Tron team. He, I went to school so with. He's tough as fucking skill, is he? Yeah, do you know what I mean? He's <laughs> he like, hands on just, They're just solid, do you know what I mean? They don't look, they're not like big grip guns or them, but they're just, you just know they look at them. Don't fuck with it. No, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Come GAs. from just a bit outside of the town and stuff, and you just know that. Start them. I might, I might be. I might train. I might train a bit of fighting and stuff. Oh. But you fuck with him, you're getting your head caved in. That one I fucking hit you in the headlock. <laughs> you're not getting, getting it. out. You're getting it. Yeah, big potato picking hands. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like shovel like, hands. Hundred percent. Because then even the Dublin team, the boys to be popping in now. I think that they're, they're kind of like the rural uh, tough. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just like, have that inside. Yeah. Them, like you know the, what they mean? have kind of like that. there's a country tough, but now there's like a. A kind of like a concrete tough, if yeah, you must. Yeah. Guys, there's guys in the inner city growing up in flat complexes now and then bouncing out and winning all Ireland. Yeah, yeah. And the good thing about it, because some people when we say it to them, about, so the all, what we're talking about here is the all Ireland final, if you don't know. Uh, Dublin have won it four times. You know, we, we're really killing it. <laughs> four times in a row, sorry, in a row, <laughs> shall I say. How many times the round have won it? They've won it two or three times. Yeah, the, yeah. and Toronto is this They've little town. Times. Like yeah. Up the north, oh, it's tiny. It's a up tiny there, little town, but the whole country comes together. They celebrate it together, but we always win it, so which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but that you've, got, you've got you've got your that are playing um, like for nothing. Like, yeah. Could you imagine? For free. And yeah, for free, for free like, not, not even getting just the bike at the mileage of the car cost. And, and you know the worst part about that is um, a lot of them get as much of what we're just talking about here. A lot of that kind of attention. Yeah. Love yeah. that, like the, the hard work stuff that you're on about. Because people, like, this is great when people get pictures with you and all. Yeah, it is. Like, it it, is yeah. no, it's a great feeling. Do you know what? Do you know what happened to me yesterday? Some woman got me to the car park. One of our kids' friends with me, and she was bawling. And, like, that was hard. <laughs> and she's like, "See, me kid has changed. Like, you don't know what this has happened, and that has happened, and and, yeah. and we know what happened. Like, I just, I know, Mrs. It's okay. Come in, give me a hug. Because <laughs> I know, because I know what jujitsu yeah. does for people, and I know what training does it's for people. It's a bit people. scary, though, isn't but, it? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's scary. Yeah. It never gets to a situation where it's like, that's not. Yeah, especially for me. Like, I'm only like 21. Do you know what I mean? That's so well. Like when I go back up home. 21 James <laughs> as well, by the way. <laughs> when I go back up home, they like, no, I'm standing with my man and stuff. And then you get people like, who just, you know, they know where I live. So they just knock up to my door. And then their, their <laughs> daughters would be just standing at the door crying. And that. you're just standing there going like, Love, like, <laughs> don't cry, just come in and have a cup of tea or something. Do you, know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean? Just come in and have a chat. Do you know what I mean? I was like, no, no need to cry. I'm just, do you know what I mean? I'm just normal. Like, <laughs> Lovely, yeah. yeah, just come and in and have a cup the of the tea. Dad's like, <laughs> yeah. 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 I look, say, look. Jason, Jason yeah. looked this to his ma when all these girls are knocking up to the doors. Is that one of the the normal ones? Is that one, <laughs> <laughs> is that one of uh, the your son Jim? Don't get close. Me and his daughter were out partying seven months. Ago. <laughs> I oh, keep on. No, I no, no. realize long ago, Paddy, yeah. there is no normal ones. Well, I say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say, Andy, Andy has a lever at the door. Jim, look at right it. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> Leave it that out. <laughs> Boom. Pulls the lever. It or... Through the floor <laughs> down to <laughs> Into the basement. Uh, Mom, no, but... but that has to be a weird little situation. But you can imagine what the guy lads are like. Do you know Not getting I mean? paid. Not... And as you, you said it there. Sweat coming down. The energy it takes from you. Because it is a little... Like, people are like, that fucking picture... So people on the... like. Oh, you would have said the same thing. The pictures, sure look. Yeah, do you know what I mean? They're doing a hundred pictures and having a hundred conversations. Oh, uh, it's hard. Do you know what That's I mean? And I would never turn <laughs> down a picture from anyone because you know, but they, they're the people that come to support you, and you they deserve it. Yes, they deserve it for the hard work that they put in. They support you. Do you know what I mean? So you'll never turn it down. You have to graft in that situation the way. That they have grafted your whole career. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? You have to be thankful for them, 100%. and that's that's the thing. The gratefulness. Do you know what I mean? That's the gratefulness where you just shake their hand and and a lot of people I see a lot of people they get pictures and they be just like oh I get a picture, but I always always stop and like ask someone oh like what's your name? Do you know what I mean? Just make it a bit yeah personal. personal yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? It's just you just have to make you know what I mean. Make it like thank them for it because 
then the day it wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for them. No, and you're and, and it, it's a mad situation for people to be able to take any sort of energy or have any sort of admiration for that. And as I yeah. said as well, people forget this about you. You're twenty one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I I put a comment on your yoke when um after after your last fight, and I was like. Because I was watching what people were saying to you and all. Well, we won't go, we go into that at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching what people were saying to you and all. And I was like, he's 24. <laughs> man. I can look out my window yeah. now and see people older than him drinking cans yeah. in the field somewhere. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I'm like, people forget that. And, 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 and the worst thing is about it, right? You probably have like sometimes older men, 30 year old, like me. Will you relax? He yeah. could be your son. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, no, 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 no. And especially when you get it, people to your face. You no, know, if you're, see, like after the match there, when I was at the match at the weekend, or when you go out with the boys after the match, um, grown men coming up in a um, slobby mess, do you know what I mean? Come up and trying to say, oh, you should have been doing this, you should have been slobbering. doing that. Ooh, ha- slobbering. Yeah. Slabbering. Yeah, sla- <laughs> slabbering. <laughs> slabbering. <laughs> a bit of slabbering to me. <laughs> so, but then you're just looking at him and like, Obviously, I wouldn't be getting a new like hassle or nothing outside, but you're looking. I'm going. I could just upend you in a blink. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're old enough to be me dad. You haven't. You haven't been very successful at all. Do you know what I mean? You've been doing the same thing for the last twenty years, doing your thing, and that's fine. Breastfeeding a point. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? And that's fine. Like I wouldn't criticize anyone for doing that. If that's what you want to do, then fair play to you. Wish you all the best with it. But when you Go to critique someone else for doing something on a much higher scale. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Then it's like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Do you know what I mean? You should just maybe, just if you have nothing good to say, just keep your mouth shut. I'm yeah. not going to go and tell you what to do. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, it's, it's just not me because I know how hard it is to, to actually do stuff. Even though if it's small, it's still fucking hard to get up in the morning and go, right, I'm going to do this. Do you know what I mean? And if someone can do that, say like... If it is someone who goes to the bar every day for a drink and he gets up one day and goes, well, I'm not going to go to the bar today. That's a big, that's a hard move to make. Yes. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? But they don't realise the hard moves that I do make. Get up, go training, come back, go train again, make way, step up, hit it all on the line, then step back out there and fight in front of like millions of people watching. They don't, they don't realise how big of a move that is to get there and then they feel like they can come and like say this kind of thing to you, but... It's the, it's the life you choose, isn't it? I think that's what he's saying, they, they, to be careful what you wish for, I think, because some people I know that say, I would meet now, and if, if you give them all in a day, it would ruin them. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you just know that they, they not that they, they had the power, I'm with them, but they, they'd run away with it. They'd literally, like, like people, they'd be like, like, saying to me, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And in the way of everything they're saying, I'm saying, like, if you were doing that, nobody would probably talk to you in a way because it's 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 snaky and it's sloy. But yeah. people don't see that. Yeah. Some people only see like, yeah, but look, it you be huge though. You be yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, but like, it's not really. You're doing your own thing and you're happy and you're and you're, you're pride and all of that stuff stays there as well. Yeah. Um. So before we even get into bleeding fighting, reel back to like little day because I remember the first time I seen here, right? <laughs> it was fucking mental. We were in, we were driving through Strand, right? And I, I, <laughs> I, I remember this day. Do you remember this day? Yeah. And I was saying, it wasn't the first time we'd seen you. I'd met no, you before. Yeah, first before. time I seen you fighting, right? And uh, uh, yeah, t- I think you told in at this Yeah, time, right? And we're driving through the brand, Estra brand, and we stopped, and we thought it was like a police checkpoint or something. No, it's two lads out in the middle of the road, <laughs> three o'clock in the day. I think I've sold a story in this week. No. Dish, 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 box the head <laughs> off each other. And the boys have stopped the traffic. Oh, you know? no, there's no Trap car. Trap boys be out in the middle. Uh, <laughs> and the two lads are pumped in the head Better fair play, better fair play. Better fair play. Traffic <laughs> <laughs> them all. Uh, like, no one even beeping. The boys are having a fight when you stop yeah. it. You There's know a big I mean? wedding though. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. was the yeah, wedding. And we're wedding. sitting there and we were like, what? Was me first, that was my first fight. That, that day, was yeah, it. That was my debut. That was mad that I seen yeah. that. I'm, I'm delighted that I seen it. So was it? Were you fighting that night? No, I tell you, who Chris, was fighting? Chris, Chris was fighting. Chris Fields was fighting. Chris was yeah. fighting. And he, he didn't even fit in the... He wouldn't even fit, fit in the... Fit the cage. Fit in the cage. <laughs> 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 Chris Fields is like seven foot. And this thing is like, I don't know how he got this cage. 
Do you know what I mean? It looks like they planted it and it grew into the room because <laughs> I don't know how he got it. Yeah, it was, it was tiny, wasn't it? Chris Fields, like, if he had got lifted up, he was he would have broke his neck. He would have went to the stadium. <laughs> you know what I mean? He but this was in like a little dinky pub. So we got to the venue and all, and it was pure Northern Ireland. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we were yeah. doing around. You could just see everyone scald. You know, man, that we don't know. Yeah. Had that vibe. Yeah. That was it. deadly. St. Pat's Hall. We pulled St. Pat's Hall. Yeah, that's 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 like that's that's a hall. St. Pat's Hall. Yeah, like, uh, lost the head the of the St. Pat's Hall. <laughs> <laughs> in every way. <laughs> <laughs> Down the back of it. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> when he's uh, in it. Yeah. And, like, and all of a sudden, this young flick, and, and he had his hair dyed red because obviously, you know, his gingers are awesome. Yeah. So, but he had his hair dyed red and he screeches out of the car. Rum, 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 yeah. And then you were in there and you actually had a knock. Oh, yeah. Because that, that was a good little yeah, scrap as he's well. Yeah, a good scrap. Look, like, it, wasn't, it wasn't a roll, it was a back no, and forth. No, it was back and forth. We got clipped and, and you got were put up, it to me. Yeah, but so you, you remind me so much of amount, the amount of lads that. Like lads that I see now, that I have now, lads yeah. that are younger, like and, and like lads talking about like, like, do you know James? And all yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, but to me, you become like a little brother. In a way, yeah. Because you know I mean? like, it's not that big up. of a thing. It's do you not, know what I mean? I don't. Not, I don't I say nobody's that big of a thing because it's it, everyone is, and it's great to see everyone. So, but it's always like yeah, but it's the normal you view from the eye of like, yeah. Yeah, but that's just, it's James. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, and same thing with like with Connor. Like, yeah. It's it's Connor. Like yeah. some people are like. Like, oh my God, like, if you actually, like, sat in a room with him. Yeah, but then when you get, like, other 13-year-olds who feel, like, in the same position that want to fight, knowing they're 13. Exactly. And they're like, but, but he done that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, I want to do that. Imagine having the yeah. blueprint of yeah. that. Like, and not only that, at that age, I know the, the guy that came out that door to fight that night, you would be wanting to fight that guy that's already there. There? Yeah, it's not you like, what I mean? well, I want to go up there, but then he's scary. No. You have to have some sort of kind of rocker up yeah, your ass that kind of just... Shoot sh- you on. Just shoot you <laughs> And you don't get time to look yeah. left and you don't get time to look right, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that was, an, that was a mad little night that was. That One was of the nuts. many trips up there. That was nuts. I would love to be fighting that place again. <laughs> so I would love to be fighting that place again. Oh, did you get on it? Get a book. Get <laughs> yeah. a book. Take get a belt or back over. Get a That would be mad. That would be <laughs> <laughs> that would be nuts. Wouldn't it? They, they, I don't know if like now. 300 people, but. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what it would be like now. That'd but the smell nuts. of that alcohol and all that. That place is fucking older than me and you both, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, fucking fucking The priest and all came over and Father Bowen came over and blessed me and all before. It's all no more. They just know me as well, but bust his chops. <laughs> Get in them. Like, yeah. Get in the them. The priest up that side of the bar are the best priests. You know I mean? <laughs> They're different. The one, you can hang your jacket on them boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you want a lad you want to be watching. <laughs> so, be like that, out that you. had to be like, after that, the day after that, everyone else, the dust settles. Like, y- you wake up in Shaman, all of a sudden... It, your, your your energy or your your actions are now matching what your energy yeah. is, you know. Yeah, exactly. And then that had to be mental. Were you a superstar nuts. in your head then? Because yeah, you're like fourteen, you're all waking up at that. Yeah, but I was I was always like that. You know what I mean? I was always I'm going to be the best. I'm always going to be the best. But when I started getting the boy fourteen or fifteen, is when I started getting anyone I met. They were going, "You're the next superstar." Do you know what I mean? And I've been getting called that since I'm 14. That used to worry me sometimes. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And that's, it's even not, and it didn't then, but now when I think back at it, now that I've matured and became myself and you know, became a, become a man as such, mm. I look back and I'd be like, that that's mad, that could have fucked me up. <laughs> oh, you remember being worried for you at that yeah, time? Because that, um, I think at that at that time as well, I, I was probably, I was the only one out of all of us that had a kid. Yeah. So I had a kid at 19. Yeah. So we could, not that I had the maturity, but... Yeah, you had to make sure quick and become a man quick. I had a parental head yeah. of like, I remember looking, saying like... like yeah, she had a different outlook. Yeah, well, because I was yeah. thinking of my own yeah. kid as well, yeah. like, you know what I mean? And I was like, 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 you have to be careful how you kind of talk to a kid yeah. as well, because... It just goes to your head, right. do you know what I mean? And that's the worst, and the worst thing is, it blows up. Yeah. But and the it's... idea is, if you if it doesn't get to where, like, successful, where you have been, where you've made money, where you've, you've done something yeah. like that, and it blows up and no one notices it, could be very detrimental for you. Very bad, do you Imagine know what I mean? That. And all that, you know what I mean? You're feeling like I haven't done it, I'm just here. Oh, and everyone's it. thinking I'm going to be the next superstar. Do you know what I mean? That's a heavy thing to be on, but you have to go with, and this, that's the, that's the part why I can deal with the law so good, mm. is because everyone's been calling me like a superstar, like since I'm being 14. And I knew back then, as if I let this go to my head, I'm I'm done. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm never going to amount to anything. And your dad as well would have been. Do you know what I mean? And we had a good family and stuff. Family I mean, they yeah. keep me grounded and know that no matter what, and especially come to SBG, because you know, no matter how big of a superstar you go in there, you get a quick <laughs> yeah, reality right. check. Like, let me tell yeah. you something. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Some, you know, there's people there who no one even knows, and you go in and they'll just up <laughs> and you in a blink. And like, no one even knows who he is. And he can upend you. Not only do you got loads of superstar fighters who would just upend you, but you got people who no one have a clue who you are. Do you, do you know what I mean? Think that was, um, do you think that was a, a certain kind of pace at that time as well? Because I do. I definitely do think that. that at mean? that time, there was a certain group of fighters. Ah, a certain, a certain pace of like, up the north, they'd be like, like if you were to say, look, I'm training with the boys, let's be, they'd be like, you're training with yeah, and they'd nearly be able to ring off the line up. Yeah, the most. Uh, big you know terms. I mean? Do you know what I mean? It was all it was you fighting. There was Connor fighting. He, Chris, there was a yeah, lot of even people. Chris up at that time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone was up. Remember me, you, Connor. <laughs> Wasn't it fighting in Derry? Felt my Peter was on it as well. That was a man. Yeah, you know I mean? you, yeah, no, Artem was on it as well. Something you thing. said. Yeah, Artem was on it. Uh, and as I said, something you said to me there, even before we started, like it's deadly seeing some of the boys on it. We love that as well because and you're saying look some of the stuff about the boys we wouldn't even know me either. Yeah, and, do you and know what you mean? spend all these years with them and rushing along and then and it is it does take a little it's nice sometimes to sit down and say Just look back a little yeah, bit. But, and you can well, all you realise is look you're surrounded and you're packed in boy solid dudes. Solid, yeah. And not <laughs> only yeah, solid almost. isn't like uh, fighting, but solid mentality. Backgrounds as well. You know that they have your back like yeah, and, and as yeah. you're saying about looking after you and yeah. we know you're time, not. And that's what I had, do you know what I mean? I was lucky they had all these boys and all coming up they, Keep you grounded because it could have just easily went. Do you know what I mean? And it, I was always like, I feel like everyone's all oh, you're like cocky, you're cocky. And I was like, I was worse back then. <laughs> I was like, everyone's like, oh, do you know what I mean? You're getting... now, you want to fucking see him? Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I was generally like more not. A, I was probably arrogant back then. I'm not arrogant anymore. I'm still cocky, yeah. but I'm not arrogant yeah, anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> at, at that age, as I said, as, uh, as a kid, he he wasn't. You know. Yeah, I mean? yeah. At that, like, because you're a, you were a kid, kid. You're still. No, I won't say you're still are a kid because that yeah. makes me ancient. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still, you're still very young. Do you know what I mean? When you're at school now, and everyone's like, oh, you're up training me, you know, in Dublin and SPG and stuff and no one really because there was no one like like famous famous do you yeah. know what I mean it was yeah, everyone's so, locally so, yeah so Shaban so would have had the home to what I've yeah like, do you know what I mean they knew James, who there's something coming yeah, there's something yeah. Coming. and it was just that brew and everyone was getting behind me and everyone was do you know what I mean you always had people like pulling you off as well but everyone was just oh you're going to be the next superstar you're going to be this and then by the time then we went to Iceland and started training and stuff and it was like he's going to the Icelandic train. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. was like a big thing, yeah, and and it is that. Oh, you know, it's even, huge. Yeah, like, even it's, like someone said it was a big thing back then, and I'd be like, it's a big it's still thing, a big no? motherfucker. <laughs> Especially you know for I mean? a kid at yeah. your age, you yeah. know, Iceland to train. Do you and, know what I mean? Just getting up and bouncing over, leaving school and stuff, and just bouncing over, and it's a bit. Everyone was like big pushing and pushing, and I could have just meant back then, be like, I'm a superstar here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But the thing that I that always kept me grounded and it's still what is keeps me grounded is because I've seen so many people there's like a good friend of me dad's who could have played he, he played for all the big football teams Gigi Kearney and he was like everyone back home like respects him he had went to like Man United and like all these different things and and then he turned back to the drink when he was do you know what I mean young like my age kind of now playing football high level football started earning a few quid or whatever playing football and turned back to the drink and and it could have could have made it. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's my thing. I don't care if it don't make it. You, you do you know what have, I mean? Well, not, I won't say you kind of have made it, but you have made it. In the yeah, way yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm, yeah, well, you, like you, you yeah. could say that. Yeah. But I mean, like to be like come world champion is like if I try give it everything and I don't, well then that's life. You suck that up <sighs> and you get on with. But, but for the point of me, I'm trying to say is like if I say no, if I look back and like when I get to like thirty years old and be like I could have done that. Yeah, that's that's that there would eat me alive yeah. do you know what I mean so what I've said to myself no matter what happens if I get to a point where like well I tried and it didn't work out then I'm happy for the rest of my life yeah. do you know no what I mean regrets. yeah no regrets yeah. do you know what I mean I give it everything I give it me all I didn't I, I'm not going to be the fellow sitting in the bar and going if I had done that I could have been that that's a scary vision that's right? a scary that's one because I've seen so that. many people that were at a high level and whatever they were doing that are saying these things to me and I'm looking at it going, that's the last thing I want to do. As I said, I don't care if I just, if I don't amount to anything, but I'm definitely not mounting that I could have been. Oh, yes. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's a scary me. one. No, you, you, you want to be telling the stories of, um, 
like this is what it was like yeah. this is what I did this is what I, and, and, and telling them where they still give you that little glint in your eye and that little excitement exactly. you don't want to tell the story because there is two ways and you're right there is the bar that front line of the bar the bar flies yeah. you know what I mean that are like knocking on the shoulders fuck's sake you know what I mean shoulder knockers uh, but the, no the idea is there is guys like that that they should have, they could have, and it's such a sad thing. And, it's it's, a sad and thing. it goes to GAA in football, it yeah. goes to Ireland, it goes to plasters, it goes to tradesmen, it goes across the whole world, like the forgotten Irish, yeah. they say. So the guys that went away and became tradesmen, the guys that went away and became footballers, and as you were saying, there it is. The worst thing that always gets us is the drink. The, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's a very lonely place uh, in, in, in the world. <laughs> fucking right it I is. I remember living in Canada, man, and I used to I used to pop into the pub after work and like it was getting to a habit where I was like, I was probably going to have a, a chat and a point. Yeah. And I kind of felt like I needed it because it was like, and what I was else? only laying 20 or yeah. as well. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I what like, else do you, do you know what I mean? I had to stop it. Yeah. I was standing back. I'm a dip song now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. You're like, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But that's the little, little part, do you know what I mean? Because that's the way I always say, do you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm just one of the boys. And like, so I'm, I'm just one of the boys back home and stuff, but I'm still a bit different. Well, of course. I'm still goodness. a bit, and you always have to keep that, like I'm, I'm not like, I can't just go to the bar on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? Every week. Not every do you week, know what I mean? No. You can go. You can definitely go and you can see the boys and, and you can go and have a drink with the boys. Well. Oh, yeah, do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. No. But you know your place and know where you're supposed to be at this yeah. at that time. Do you know what I mean? There's times I'm meant to be in a gym on a Friday afternoon. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then there's times that you deserve a little day off and oh, you deserve, yeah. do you know what I mean? And you, you have to have the that. balance because if you don't balance it, then it's never going to be good. Any of it. You need it. Any of it's never yeah. going to be good. You're never going to enjoy going and seeing the boys. You're never going to go and enjoy going to the gym. Do you know what I mean? If you don't have that <coughs> that break and know where you're supposed to be, you, you need to have that. Uh, the frustration builds up, you know. What yeah. I mean? Because I think I think even in foot camp, there's times where you need to take two, three days. Oh off. yeah, and just go and chill and eat a bit of bad food and stuff. It and, just builds you up again. Yeah. Like, and, uh, do you know what I mean? Because then when you go back to the gym on Monday, then you're like, let's go. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And want I want it. Gives you that do you know what I mean? And that's that's life, and you need to have the balance of it. And I feel like I get a good balance of that. I feel like that's one thing I do pretty well is. Balancing the both. Good balance. Yeah, no, we don't see it as a yeah. session. No. We wouldn't have you down as a session. No, no, never. Mm-hmm. No, so it is a be nice two weekends after the fight, and I'll probably not go out until yeah. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck that. The, the hangover. That. No. That's why I don't. No, do that, yeah, it? no, I'm not. I'm not. No, definitely not. So I'm you not. got to a stage, right? And um, kids don't do this at home. Definitely not. But you, 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 you were at a situation where you decided I can, like I can bounce from skill. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, and well. In it, how this happened, right? Yeah. Explain that thing, cause, cause it is, a, it would be a misconception where yeah. it's like. I wanted up. to leave school, but yeah. I, I wasn't in a situation where I could well, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Andy sitting there going, you're, yeah, you're, going you're not moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, some kids are like, will, would say to me, look, yeah, yeah, but James left school. Yeah. And like, because people know your story. Yeah. And you'd be like, yeah, but like, that's a, a different, different. That, that's a different thing. And, yeah. like, and, and the free game over is now. James can, James yeah. like, has the, the, the popularity as well to do stuff after fighting. Yeah. Now, where sometimes you can be a foyer. And just and be it's a just, fire, just be a fighter you, you, and it might you, you work out. You just want to say fire, yeah, it doesn't... F- and like, that's it. That's the risk that I took. It's a, it's a risk. It's a this risk. Is it's a risk, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But so how did that happen like, with the, the conversation with Andy and all that? <laughs> that is how you got it all. <laughs> I remember uh, one time I was at school or something and I was never I was never good at school. I never liked it. And I never studied. I never did any homework. I never did anything. But one time my ma said, she came to me and, do you know what I mean? When your ma sits down, do you do what your ma says to keep your ma happy? And I hated school and she sat me down one day and she was like, I was doing mock exams, do you know what I mean, before the GCSEs. Mm-hmm. I never did my GCSEs, but we had mock exams and I never studied for them. I just did them in a the field most of them, but I had a maths one. And my maths said to me, if she, if I study every night for like, say, like three weeks until the exam was, she'll help me do it. And she was just do this one for her. So I was like, no problem, I'll sit and I'll do it for you. Do you know what I mean? And I sat down every night and I studied. I did the full hour every night with her. Did the work at school. I was like, I'm going to do this one for me, man. And I failed it. I failed the mock exam. And I was like, I'm, I'm not doing this. Do you, you know what I mean? This yeah, really do you know what I mean? I was like, man, it's just, it's not for me or whatever. And then I, after that, it was just disheartening. And then after I failed that, I was like, I'm doing no work in this place. Yeah. So I used to sit in class and watch videos of fucking you and Gunny and Connor on cage wires and stuff like this. And uh, 
I used to just sit and watch them kind of videos because like it's more beneficial to me than yeah. learning <laughs> learning like, this kind of stuff. You can start all that yeah, in this. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So then after a while, I was like getting into trouble in school and stuff, and I went back home and I was like, like my then my man dad was like, I I want to leave. I want to just train. I don't want to do anything else. And my dad was like, well, how are you going to? You know what I mean? Like how are you going to get a future? Yeah. And this is the thing. Yeah, it? do you know what I mean? What future is there? You no know, one like fight. And I was like, I don't know. I can open me open up me own gym or something after a while or. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, that was just thinking about how can I yeah, how can survive I doing this? I don't care yeah, about yeah. anything else. I just want to do this. I don't care about making money. I don't care about doing that. I don't care about doing this because no one's in the UFC. No one, do you know what I mean? There was and, and no one's making money. Money, at this no. As well, by the way, people. Wait, were, so James not looking at guys saying, nah. "Look at all the money over there that nah. they're making. It's great." And people are broke. Do you know what I mean? Parents are not seeing them like, like. like like yeah, it sounds because it's gonna be alright because he's like it's not like it's not like it is now. Is nah, it not at this time? So like, but you were still you were like you were young, but you were still there. Yeah, I was that. only fifteen, so yeah, it was it this, the gnarly days. Yeah, course, you know? and it was like you're coming to the gym, and not only, not only was the fighters not making money, but John who was running the gym, yeah, the coaches weren't making money. The gym he was full. he wasn't making any no. money. He was you know what I mean, just the bike covering just the overheads. Covering the, the place was cold and. And stuff, but I remember the us, that time, and yeah, that would have been the long gym, and yeah. the, the, the city center gym at the tour yeah. room, and it would have been like. And it, you walked into the place, and I, from some on the night side, you would have walked in, and the place was freezing, and we're yeah. trying to heat up underneath the little heater, yeah, you know. They're, they're like here. But it, it was never like a, it was never like cold deals. No. Do you know what I mean? It was never like, oh, I don't want to. Do you know what I don't mean? Don't want to train. No, this yeah. was this was that was, was, that was it. Do you know what I mean? That was a flip. That was heaven. And you walked yeah, in that door. Do you place. know what I mean? It was that was luxury. Yeah, that really <laughs> it was. was. It was like, do you know what I mean? And that's where I felt like I learnt most in that little place. That was in there. Definitely, we always refer back to that place as well as um. That's kind of a little, a lot of what we've. Uh, Built this place on. Yeah, do you know I what made I mean? this place like kind of like like long mile yeah. with a like with a better paint job. Yeah. That's, that's what I said because it has the two floors. You know, like there's nothing better than here than like dum, 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 Serge, upstairs. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, <laughs> you heard a good buzz going you know on. You know can I mean? run. You just there. know that there's yeah. something going on. It's like drums or yeah. something over your head. Yeah, it but it's uh, it creates that kind of like little compartments of people. You yeah. know what I mean? So you can see me die. You see, drive me up to Dublin. He he could see this kind of little yeah. dingy spot. He's, I could see he's seen it. Do you know, know what I mean? I have to say, I've, I've always had a height of respect for your dad. I want yeah. to know how much your dad so well. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He's, he could see that, <laughs> he's like, do you know what I mean? He could see it for what it is. He's like, do you know what I mean? There's he a bunch grafters of... grafters Yeah, he's well. seen grafters and he yeah. always respected that. But looking at his son going, I could just get him an education in school. Oh, no. Do you know what I mean? And look after himself. But my dad was never, he's not about, like, he's not about, like, uh, qual because my dad, he doesn't really have any qualification, and he always amounted to something. Mm -hmm. He always did good for the community and always you know, able to get by and he's give back. I've read loads about yeah, your dad uh, with the community and what he does up in his community. He does do loads, I mean? for the, yeah. he's done loads in the community back in the day, back in the day. Loads, do you know what I mean? And he, he's always that kind of fellow, you know, that give back in the community. And he could see that I was kind of that... I could always pick the best out of the bad situations, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. That's what I've always done. But then, like, my mom, she was like, do you know what I mean? I can't just let my son drop out of school. As a, par as a parent, that's a, that's a... It's a scary it's one. A scary one. It's a scary one. So then I was, like, send him, like, I want to leave school. And they're like, you're 15, do you know what I mean? It's illegal. You can't leave school. Like, the teachers won't allow you. So then I went back to school or whatever, and I was just to school doing the work, and they're getting phone calls every week. James is doing that. James is doing this. And they were telling me, just stop doing it. Do you know what I mean? They got off, tell me off. Cause it was never working, yeah. do you know what I mean? I was just gonna do what you I was on a doing. Personal protest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm breaking out of this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, like, like, see what happens when I slash my on... tires. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been on my phone. The teachers would have no, they just tried to take your phone off, and I was like, mate, don't even try and take my phone. <laughs> yeah. I know some shit. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, I'll be, we'll be signed, and we sit at the back of the classroom, not interfere with your class. But don't even tempt to take off my phone, do you know what I mean? I'm not giving you it and it's not going to go down well. Like, do you know what I mean? I'll not cause any bother with you, but oh, I'm not sticking to the rules, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Let me, just, let me just do my thing and I'm just chilling. I'm not doing no harm. And I've been just watching the videos in the class and then they would have been bringing me mad him <coughs> just on his phone. If this had been me on my phone, I would have been playing Snake. Yeah. Watching videos. I was watching various <laughs> jiu-jitsu jiu videos and 22, stuff. 10, yeah. I been, uh, <laughs> Snake scored over a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Doing this, and then I remember one time I was at uh, come up to Christmas, and I walked to school. Me, me dad was away somewhere or something, and we had to walk to school in the fucking snow. And my feet was soaking and all, but 
We had the best of crack about being by our throwing snowballs at, at the at the cars and all on the school buses no way no way up. School, the schools will go crack like that as well. It's only when you look back at it you're like, do you know what that was that was handy. That was unreal. Handy do you know what I mean? It was the, that especially in the last couple of years. Do you know what I mean? The last three years where I got like good friends and we were just we we're just having the crack. Do you know what yeah. I mean? They passed us. We didn't want to be there. And, and that is where you pick your friends up. Oh, you know big I mean? time. Do you know what I mean? So you kind of you made that decision. You you, you bounced into like well, I'm 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 going I'm not gonna compete for a while now because I've got to put the work in. Yeah. Yeah. You had to wait till you were over so, eighteen as well. Yeah, you? I had to wait. So I took when I was Which is, fifteen until I was eighteen. I didn't fight. Barely. I was just competing in jiu jitsu. So I was, but um, I remember that day I was walking to school. My feet was wet and I walked in. The teacher was like, Oh, you, you have a, you have like a homework to leave in. I was like, Well, I don't got it. Like, I don't got the homework. She's like, Well, you have to do this here. And it was a half day and no one does work in a half day at school. She's like, Well, you have to do fucking write out like 500 lines or something. I was like, I'm not doing that. And she started going mad, giving out to me. And I would never be like cheeky to the teachers. You can tell by you. You can tell by you. Like, I'm not doing it. Don't argue with me. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like I don't want to be cheeky. I don't want to cause no hassle. Yeah. I don't want to be. You know what I mean? Because you would have got people in school that just being cheeky to the teachers, uh, and I hate it. Then I'd have been like, "Mate, go and shut up." Using teachers. Do you know what I mean? Like it. just shut up. These just telling tell you do your work. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. tell you're not doing the work, and, just, and that's just that. on that point. Is if you are kind of one of them lads, and you you think it's cool to like stand up in the class and throw your pencil and yeah, throw your no. me and James think you're a fucking <laughs> <idiot. laughs> if you don't want to do your work tell the teacher I'm sorry I don't want to do the work and that's that do you know what I mean I'm not going to be causing any trouble and that's that do you know what I mean it's the best way to that, do it but guys make these big scenes you know what and it's stupid. stupid it's stupid it used to be just shut up so man, continue you know on I mean? that story sorry before I did <laughs> because the man's yeah. ringing me Paddy what are you doing you told him to stand up and tell the teacher to fuck uh, off <laughs> nah. didn't you just be nice and be straight straight and I was always straight and I was like I'm not I'm not doing it do you know what I mean and the teacher started being cheeky to me and I was like, I'm not going to be cheeky. I'm not doing the work and don't try and make me do something I don't want to do. I was like, I'm big enough. And I thought I was a man. Do you know what I mean? I was yeah. like, I'm a my own man. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to do it. It's not for me. And that's that. And then she started going more cheeky. And I was like, here, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm gone. I'm walking out of here. I can't, I can't take this anymore. As all, we're not on the same level. I'm being nice to you. Like, you're not getting me mindset here. It says, I'm just chilling on my own. I'm going to watch a few videos on my phone. In the back of the classroom, on my own, causing no no problems. To anyone, you're trying to get me this work. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Do you know what I mean? I was all stop roaring, and roaring and shouting at me. Like, do you know what I mean? Just leave me be. So I'm not being cheeky with you. No need to be cheeky with me. She kept going on and on. I was like, I just turned me back there, lifted my bag and told all my friends, like, here, boys, I'm never coming back in here again in my life. These people are not. I felt, I felt the teachers were, were stupid in a way. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They just wouldn't come down the a level away from. The system. There Do you know that, what I mean? There's, there's, there's a yeah, system. There's an ego amongst it as well sometimes as well where it's like, and now I, we understand uh, if it's like I'm telling you what to do when they're like, you're in front of a class and uh, you know, it can get it can get hectic, you know what I mean? Especially for teachers now. Yeah. You'd say that's a hard job too, the idea of like... 100%, you, like, but you have like, to be real. At least if you're teaching jiu-jitsu or something and someone's like, yeah, you don't know how to do it, bounce. Bounce, yeah. And, but in skill, they can't even say they that. Can't say that. To, they can't even abuse you because yeah. all of a sudden, that you, you're you screaming at them and then they say something to you. And, yeah. That's there one thing I would always do because you, you, you never, it's a lose-lose situation, so you would never just, you never fight with the teachers or you wouldn't, mm. I wouldn't get in that verbal battle because I'm not that person. Yeah. If you ver come with verbal abuse, I'll go to you, you want a straightener? Yeah. And, you'll, and you'll get it, do you <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and you'll get it and that's the way it is. If if not, then fuck off, do you know what I mean? Don't come over and start shouting at me and do you know what I mean? If you want to have your problem, let's sort it out and that's, that. that's the way I've always been and I'm not going to get back and forward. I'd never be disrespectful to the teacher or, there's no need to be. No, Do you know what I mean? They're doing their job and that's that, but just respect what I'm saying and I respect what you're saying and meet in the middle. But then you would have got teachers in there to be like, oh, you're going to live the dual life and because I'd have missed days because I was away in Iceland training or something. I'd have been sitting back going, you're going to eat all your words. Well, you, you know what I mean? Well. Yeah. Well, now, now, listen, there is some teachers out there that have said that and nine out of ten are probably right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what now, I mean? But, like, they don't get to make that decision. Yeah. Well, fuck, we live that yeah. <laughs> Do you so, know what I mean? And, but so, I was on a different page. Do you know what I mean? Because I was being productive and I was thinking, thinking, and I was yeah, thinking yeah, outside yeah, the box. Yeah. But they wouldn't think outside the box. They get where I was thinking. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that, that day, and the teacher was like, coming back forward and I said to me, mate, I'm bouncing. And I just got up and walked home. So I did halfway through the class, just bounced straight out the front door and I went back to my man. I was like, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Back yeah. from school, do you know what I mean? You're leaving. I was like, here, listen. I said, I can't be in that place no more. 
was like, these teachers are just on me back. They're not seeing me picture. They just don't get that school's not for everyone. I says, what I'm doing now is something that I love and I'm going to be the best at it. And I says, I'm, I'll promise you that I'll put in everything I've got to become the best at this. And I says, and I don't know what the best can bring me. I says, because we just don't know that yet. No, no, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. a growing thing and no one knows that. And I says, I don't got like a final picture, but I know I'm going to be the best. And I says, if you see me not putting in enough work to become the best, you can just pull me straight back out and put me back in the school. And I says, because I can go back to school anytime. Yeah. I can drop today and go back to school can go back sure. to college and <coughs> get true. an education and you can anything you wanted to be. do you know what i mean as i say you're 21 yeah. you can still do what you want i can to still do. do that but i can't get all them years back of no. training especially in, in the your gym youth. and especially at that time you landed at a, like a good, good time, time where you know what I mean? was, was solid coming up and everyone was coming up to get out there was that pace of guys that being trained for five six years exactly do you know what i mean you were yeah you were only training what five six years at five the time? Or six yeah. years yeah, do you know what i mean so you were just a breaking through that next level yeah. and I was just at the start and it was coming so and I that, could do you know, know what I mean is, that's happening all over again yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? it's I see reverse happen, happening like, again because I'm the fellow now that has yeah. the years that I, you had exactly and even back then I don't think I think only now is a new generation of like yeah. like because no one would have even known then that what what was what you know yeah. what I mean now but like you moved in so you moved down to Dublin you moved in with John yeah so you're living with your coach now you moved yeah. in that so I remember a weird situation as well in the town like as yeah in, you're in Dublin now it's like yeah because John always he just said to me you know because I was coming down my dad used to drive me down after school on a Tuesday and Thursday because that was always yeah. the best days Thursday was an animal yeah <laughs> but I would never get home to like three in the morning because it's obviously four hours back home and drive. And then I would be up at six to go to Derry to train with uh, Martin McLaughlin and Derry. So it is because I was training with him when uh, during the days that I wasn't in Dublin, but he was back up home. And uh, so I used to get up before school and go train there after being up all night traveling. So then I would have landed to school half an hour late because I was training and I was tired sleep, and sleep yeah, deprived. Yeah. And then... I would went to school and I was obviously didn't want to be there and then I would have after school then I would have went to somewhere else and trained anywhere I could just up home anywhere around that had a jiu jitsu class or something I would have went there that night. Was Matt's on the floor? Give us a shot. Yeah, give us a shot. Do you know what I mean? Anyone at all? And there was a few fellas, Aaron Devlin and stuff as well back home. They were he was like in jiu jitsu and we we're all just bouncing together and getting any training we keep could. Just just keep in any training at all. They like, got oh, do you do a bit like let's, <laughs> let's meet up and train no matter what size we were and that's just the way it was. Anything I could get. So then I was always just like sleep deprived at school and stuff. And then getting up the next morning, going train before school again and stuff like that. And then John was like, oh, you can just come down and stay with me anytime you want. So then it happened like a gradual kind of thing. I would have been like, oh, is it cool to come down there? <laughs> when you get when you're mates, do you want to stay for the night? Um, yeah. Do you fucking live here after about three <laughs> and then And then the next time, then I text him and I was like, all right, come down for the week. And then I was there and he's like, oh, no problem. And all and then I was like, I've just quit school. And he looked at me and he's like, what do you mean you've just quit school? I was like, well, I've just left. <laughs> I'm not going back. And he's like, so what are you going to do? I was like, Jiu Jitsu. What are you going to do? <laughs> Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> and he's just lo looking at me. He's like, you can't just leave school. And I was like, I just have. Bomb. And on then I was like, the next week then I was like, all right, to come down for the week, train this week. I was like, yeah, no problem. And then before I know it, I was just, down every week <laughs> kind of just moved me wormed me away into his oh, apartment no, in so, infestation and then, then <coughs> I lived with John then for about I think it was about two and a half years I lived with John so, okay, 18 yeah it was up, up, up 15, 15 until I was 18 yeah, with a long more years yeah well, so it was 15 until I was 18 until I started earning a few quid to get me own me own spot and then I moved next door then <laughs> yeah, yeah. just in case just in case I moved next door to him and then he moved, he moved as well. He moved then away again. And then now I moved up beside him again. <laughs> As I'm following him, My I'm following him around. <laughs> did, um, so say, say you know, them three years before that, uh, the, the three years in between that, 
they were they were graft they were jiu-jitsu the world tournaments the idea of putting the graft in and getting the skill competing there at that competing every week California so and stuff like that you went to traveling to California traveling to England remember you going out with your mum that time and yeah to England out to California and then every other week then every second week me and me man and dad would have went to London we would have been going to Birmingham trying to just get all these competitions training in. and bouncing around some gyms just and doing some training and like that there and and them few years is probably now and I look back is probably the the best the best years of my life. That's the develop, that, I was that I was travelling with that's me man. Yeah, that's the apprenticeship. That's the apprenticeship. And that's the bit that people don't see. People oh. are just seeing me now and going, Oh, this is this young lad who's seven and no as a professional. Yeah. They don't see the eighteen amateur fights that I've got. They don't see the the hundreds so of jiu jitsu yeah, competitions. All, all so when you get to eighteen, right? All of that work from thirteen that we've covered there is you're at eighteen now, so even then, yeah. you're like at the pinnacle of your world. You're like, right, this is my big chance. I've yeah. put all of this work and I've made it. Yeah. The boys in the gym are looking at me. John's looking yeah. at me. My man and are looking at me. Yeah. The school teachers are looking at me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So even then, you had that little oil. I had that. Do you that, know what I mean? That's, that's, the, like, that's the bit people don't see and, and stuff like that. They just see what, what's happened in the last two years. Which is a fucking huge. Yeah, it's mad. Huge. Like, it's probably more known about what happened in the last two years than what I've done in the last since I've started yeah, out training. That's, that's that's one of the main reasons I wanted to get you on yeah. because I knew that other people don't see that other yeah. side of it, all that what goes into the graft of it. So f- like fuck all the that's the, the superstar of the yeah, reach, isn't it? The last two years you could wipe that out. And I, I still to myself and what people know about me is I've done probably more <laughs> On the exactly. up until the last two years than I have done in the last two years, you know what I mean? I still haven't achieved as much in the last two years, what everyone knows about, than I have since I've been 15. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. See that bit when I was 15 until I was 18? The amount of the stuff that I've done in them period of time, and I feel like that's why I got to the stage that I'm at, is because I feel like you, you get back what you put in, and yes. that's, how I, that's how I, no matter what it is and no matter what it is, but I feel like, them years of hard work traveling around, and not only years of hard work that I done, but the years of hard work that my family has oh, put your into mom me. And dad have done. They were thousands of hours. Yeah, of but they they used to work. They put in my work sometimes, and some fighters have put in. Exactly, do you know what I mean? Just so they could pay for me to go to a competition in Birmingham and Iceland. Iceland, and Iceland and do you know what I mean? Because I I wasn't earning no money. Do you know Definitely. what I mean? I wasn't getting a penny. They oh, if your man dad broke, don't leave school. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only that, because my man dad didn't have any money. And they had to work their ass off too. What they, they did is they, 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 my dad used to work extra shifts, yeah. drive a taxi, used to work all night long. All night would have been working Christmas Day. Is it good being able to pay them back a little bit now? It's unbelievable, do you know what yeah. I mean? I'm... Still, I'm on a lot of debt to them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a few points. I think, points, uh, you know? I think if I went and fucking fought for the money Connor was fighting for, I would still wouldn't be able to pay them back. So I remember doing your corner Connor one time. Um, I, I covered for John because John was away. Yeah, at yeah. That time, and you yeah. were fighting Janderson or something Castro, like that. Yeah, Castro, or yeah, Castro, or yeah. his name. Now. I remember being in the dressing room, well, well yeah. in the smoking area, do you want me? Yeah, <laughs> do you remember smoking. that? Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were warming up the smoking area, something like that. And I remember saying to you, and I could even hear you all along, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to smoke him. And I remember thinking to myself, look, I've seen this guy fighting Castro. This guy's fucking tough. Huge. Tough I shit. waited, I was I was even a bit sick that day, I had the flu, I wasn't 100% that yeah, you day. You remember even saying that, I was yeah. like, right, right, so was, this is going to be a test today, because I knew it, this guy... Yeah. Down. It was like God. 66 kilo fighting. And he's still going yeah. around. He's still around now. Oh, yeah, he's, he's good, around. yeah. He's professional now. Yeah. Like that as well. But, but I was I like, only... even, like, even when Goyer said to me, sorry, cutting you off. Yeah, no. Nah. When Goyer said to me about, like, 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 wow, when someone puts on James, what's he going to be like? How's he going to react? And I'm like, well, I've seen that happening. Yeah. And I've seen a guy doing it that can do it. And he put it on you yeah. that day, didn't oh, he? Yeah, he, he was got gone. you with shots. He caught Couldn't you with breathe. Things. Winded. Winded. So caught you in a body shot. And yeah. like, but there was no, you weren't fading in there. Like, and and never. that's where I was like, well, I, it's in there, yeah. for, you know what I mean? Ah, big time. And then, uh, and then you, you, you whipped in the, the old footlock. Yeah, do you know what I mean? that time you were. Yeah, actually, good at the footlock. Foot <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, now everybody's going to a yeah. footlock, isn't it? Yeah. And that's mad because you were binging everybody. Yeah, everyone with, with it. And it was just a straight footlock. Yeah, that's it. It was a nightmare. No, I'm like, complicated. Oh, I'm gonna, ah. Bye. When Go he on. got you on his foot, he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. like the original Richie. Yeah. You are, you know? <laughs> no, Richie's took it over. He's advanced. Yeah, he. I just hear someone's like, footlocks, mate. 
least he torture him with it and now if I touch him and he just tangles me up in all these complicated ones and I got fuck that yeah, uh, fuck off <laughs> yeah I'll just pass guard <laughs> oh, that, that, that had to be a hard little road to get through you know what I mean oh, that, big that's, time. that's tough on its own yeah do you know what I mean but I've always had that do you know what I mean since I was a kid do you know what I mean I was always I was 7, 8 years old and I was out fighting with people who were 15, 16 do you know what I mean just in the street and yeah. stuff and, and, and that was a little chubby James we yeah a little fat <laughs> 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 yeah, James it was do you know what I mean but that's that's what bits people don't know about me yeah. do you know what I mean people just see oh you're living this life or whatever and I'm like I'm living this life but I also live that life yeah. do you James know what I mean James was doing this before Instagram was kind of a do you know what I mean and that's you, yeah. you it. but that is the thing and that's, that's as I said a huge part of the set when James comes on a lot of people are gonna see that that other side of it. Yeah. You know? So when when obviously like obviously um I won't say your style is like Connor's, you know what I mean? But people don't realise as well that Connor was in like there's guys that have never met Connor in their life and that's who they are. Do you mm. know what I mean? Even fighters, you get yeah. guys that are coming out with like pasting on tattoos and stuff like yeah, that. It's, yeah. it's fucking cringy. Yeah. Where to you, you're like a fourteen or fifty year old, fifteen year old in a room while this guy was doing the, the stuff he was doing so yeah. there's definitely going to be similarities yeah definitely you know I mean? well, as from I'm everyone trying to look at it, um, trying to, I'm trying to find a word for it what would the word be for it like, you know when you when you admire someone mm. oh, idol idol the kind mm. of like your idol yeah so your idol mm. this idol just happened to be in the room right? yeah, so yeah. there's but definitely going kind to of be similarities in, in not, really, not really that when you look <coughs> when you when you surround yourself with people when you're like 13, 14, they're, everyone's just like, you remember it used to be like, we used to go train and go and eat together. And yeah. we just, everyone just spent the day kind of together. Yes. We never left the, the gym and we went to Iceland. We're living together and stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you're just yeah, that was some <laughs> crack. Tell anybody no. in Iceland. <laughs> 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 you were young then. Iceland was a mad. But do you know what I mean? We're all the just together. And we're on that half together and even words even words that you use you know when you're around like your brother and sisters and stuff like that and they say so whatever do you know oh, what I mean I don't have brothers I'm going to be around with brother <laughs> <laughs> but you say the same words in. do you yeah, know what I mean and it just everything words. just clicks in and that's just and I'm like that kind of outgoing and I used back then I was worse I was a like cocky like do you know what I mean I was just obviously ran around I grew up in Carton Drive and back home and you out and you were against yourself, do you know what I mean? If you didn't, if you couldn't handle yourself and have a wit and being able to verbally get off with someone, you're going to get bullied around yeah. the place and you're going to get dragged around. and Probably get your bollocks not then. And that's, that's how, you, do you know what I mean? And then when you're with people who obviously, you and Connor and stuff, if you can't do that around you fellas, you're getting yeah. hammered <laughs> as well. <laughs> Yeah, do you know what I mean? You're getting oh, boom, dude. boom. And me from being up the north as well, I got the hogs <laughs> abuse in yeah. that gap. If you couldn't look at yourself yeah. in that gap. I know was what? fucked, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. if I could I think it was actually up. me that moved out in the end. Yeah, <laughs> fatty <laughs> boys before I did. Night, man, I'm yeah. getting ready for the fight. I was like, <laughs> like, like night walkers or something they were. Like, yeah. boys, I'm bouncing, there was yeah. a lotus, there's about tennis in the gaff, and then before they know it, then there was down to the last three. <laughs> Everyone. Three o'clock in the morning, uh, boys, be boom, 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 They were three walkers. Uh, you know so uh, then, obviously, you got to see all of that as well, because then you came, yeah. you do my corner in Dublin. In Dublin, you know yeah, I mean? see, that so was like, mad. When I was seeing it as a young flat, yeah. and what my, my little mission was to train, let everybody see. See, cause, see uh, what it was you know like. I did it with you as well, which you, who, I'm so glad that I was able to do that for. Clive Storm. Yeah, yeah, he but was in the corner, right? Yeah. And yeah. Clive would have been the guy yeah. that came up. Well, that was the opposite way around because he was the kind of guy who was like, did it? Uh, yes. And then now he was at the end and so didn't get to see up, what it was I like. Up to Chloe and yeah. I was like, this is great. This yeah. Is be so it was like kind of the room. opposite. So me, I was getting to see it for what's ahead. For what it is. And he kind of got, because it wasn't around when he was, you know what I mean? It wasn't, the opportunities weren't the same when he was coming up. So then he got from the flip side, like this could have kind of happened yeah. do you know what I mean which was like the kind of and then John who was the coach in the middle of it do you know what I mean he was in the middle the kind of he was only coming in the, that was it, some experience it, wasn't it it was mad wasn't that it was the to, maddest. Be, to, to be there at that moment that was even when people talk about it now because you look at that moment you couldn't even look, hear you're looking out at it you couldn't even hear you're anything like, out at it. that was it yeah. and so now the thing is one of them things that'll probably only get bigger in time yeah, you know what I mean yeah. it's getting bigger bigger and bigger in that little video and stuff in your head in your head it's like like, yeah. No, that was 10, 70,000 people there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it though, didn't it? Sound, it did sound. You couldn't hear yourself. Yeah. I think you could. It would have been at the match at the weekend, there wasn't a noise like that. 
Wow. And there was like well, eighty-five thousand people. Well, there was a Dublin score. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't score. So yeah, like, in their crowd was pretty quiet, man. Like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm do you know what I mean? But even the eighty thousand people couldn't have generated the noise of the ten thousand people that you just brought. Yeah, no, that do was, you know what I mean? That, I remember the Lewis's and all like stuff. Like Stone. looking at the window, oh, this is gonna be mad. Nuts! Remember in the hotel room because your hotel room you could just see across it. Yeah. I was just looking at it like for days, days. Some crack yeah, though, isn't it? Some crack. Yeah, fucking so. scary as shit. Oh. <laughs> You're looking back. We had Courtney in house yeah. up as well, and I was yeah. rolling out me back and all. I was like, right, this better all hold together. This doesn't work. This is fucking. You're all forced. I'm like. <laughs> but it some it crack then. Out beautiful it did. It was... So fast forward there. Now when you when you got your contract with Bellator and, and you were you when you got your contract with Bellator, I won't say it was like that 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 was it wasn't as popular as it is now. You no. need to be a Bellator for yeah, So when yeah. you were a Bellator for you, you you signed in, yeah. you got Croker yeah. and, and, and Lincoln together yeah. and, and and making ideas and, Yeah, and it was kind of the group. first no, yeah, it's big, you know what I mean? Belter's big in the Europe, but then I was like the first European kind of guy. Yeah, and to be really, and to be right. as well. Like, and really it was like, you're, I was 3 0. So as I just fought, fought in Bama, then after Bama, then I was just like kind of was floating around in my thing, and then I just got the, the contract, and I was like, what the fuck's this about? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I was like, give me that. And they just looked at the thing and I was like, you want pay now to do this? Do you know what I mean? Proper pay. Like, Proper pay. And I was like, all right, you know what I mean? So it was, I was, what was, I think I was only turned 18. I was I was 18 and I think I was just coming 19 or something like that. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Do you know what I mean? And I bit the bullet, signed the contract, got it done and I never looked back. Do you know what I mean? I was just took the bulb of the horns and was like, I'm going to put everything I've got into this. Do you know what I mean? And not only did I, did I didn't do that and I always had the outlook. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to be a world champion. I'm going to do this. But now this was my chance. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This was this is my chance. I remember I sat down with my man and Dan on. It was just the, the three of us sitting there and I was like, this is this is real now. Like this is do you remember like I always dreamed of when I was at school saying, Imagine the day we get down and sit that contract down and I get to sign it. And it's real it's mad because it's not like it's actually not what you think it's gonna be like. Yeah, it's just it's not it's like just like now. it's kinda like it it is it's so real in a way, but it's normal. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a big pedestal that you it's gotta be like a celebration and it's not it's no one like that is you wake up the next day oh congratulations you know what I mean and you go back to the gym and it's let's go to work (laughs) do you know what I mean life goes on on. and it's that's the that's the pinnacle do you know what I mean then you go I went I won my debut I had the fucking you know what I mean (coughs) time of life my whole family came over do you know what I mean it was a big moment everyone the flags going had the time of her life. Then the next day, obviously, I didn't sleep that that night at all. Yeah. Me and it was me and Kiefer was there. Boy. Yeah, and we're yeah. just sitting in the hotel room it's looking at each other after, going, "Wow," because we we didn't even go out or nothing you after. Can't, just, we can't even go out. We after, just aren't you? we were gone, but we were just sitting there. And it was about four in the morning. And it was just we we're in the changing room. It was GSP? He was like on like his uh, teammate was on. He was warming his teammate up. John McCarthy, Big John, came in. Who I'm actually good, like good friends with sound, now. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? But then he was just that was Big John. He yeah, refereed like, the UFC fight the first Big UFC. John Do you know what I mean? Oh, what the fuck? And we were just sitting there looking at each other, going like, "Wow, that's mad." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? As like in this a man is of little foyers like that would like where Keith are even sitting there. Well, that's why he would it. That like he, not 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 that you're not in the world in, but now you're like like it's even more. It's like it works. It works. It works. You know what I mean? Everything we done like just played off and it worked it works it's like the blue you know what I mean the blueprint I actually like oh they keep doing this yes do you know what I mean keep it's not like oh I've accomplished this it's like no look 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 how small that little it's bit's got me to hear and then after the win it's not like oh I've won happy days it's like let's keep fucking going now yeah. imagine how big this can this get can go, like, that's what I said hold on to that rocky you know what I mean and it still goes I'm gonna go teaching at 12 but we gotta go 10 minutes yet so oh, what's, what's that that's that TWLV, fair play to you. Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, well. I'll, hey, wait, I got one on my wrist as well. Yeah. <laughs> TWLV. <laughs> the red. He was happy as lad. He would have cried if he didn't get one of them. Fair play to you, boys. Crackers, are they? Oh, they've right, sent me a couple of them as well. Yeah, yeah. Dublin. I should have yeah. had it on today. Yeah. Upside down, wrong hand. Yeah. Dublin company as well. Yeah. yeah, they make all the parts in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. Are they the boys that won the Sam McGuire four times? 
It's a dubs. Is that a trolling you're speaking of? <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day. There's some out there still sitting on the pub with his fist and the shape of it is on the pub. Bollocks! Yeah. <laughs> of all the times that he said uh, bollocks. Uh, so, no, they, they, they get into the, get into the, 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 I won't say the fall, but was it that bad? No. No. I woke up the next day and when I went over there and do you know what I mean? But, uh, and you fought a tough kid there. Oh, like, yeah. He was a tough little motherfucker. He was you ten and one. Him, I see him hungry for him. He looked at him and he yeah. stepped up because you know then, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to fight. He's I gonna knew fight. he was going to fight. Everyone was like, I think a lot of people underestimated him more than I underestimated, oh, underestimated him. I didn't go in there underestimating him. I went in fully prepared. He was an alley dog. You could tell by him, you know what I mean? And you see, he was going to, he wasn't, do you know what I mean? He was going to the death. Yeah, 100%. He, he was fighting go- for his, his He was kid, fighting, and I said that beforehand. And was, yeah, 100%. And I was like, I knew he's a dangerous opponent, and I went in there fully prepared. And and I I'm, I know exactly what went wrong. Do you know what I mean? I know, how, I know how he beat me. I know what I did wrong for him to beat me. I don't know what to do to fix it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I'm happy with that. The Jimmy. first shot you got caught with, because I was trying to find a figure yeah. out, looked like kind of kind of stung you a little tiny yeah. bit, but then definitely the second shot I think was it, and it's like what a weird fucking shot to get yeah. caught with. What? Yeah, yeah, and, and trust me, I know as well because it's like at that time when you get hit, you're like shit, and the last thing you need to do is get fucking hit really yeah, again, again. Yeah. let alone yeah. better than the, the first, first shot. the first one that he kind of like caught a kick I think and he clipped me. Yeah, it's kind of sting. Like, yeah, and it went down. <laughs> So, but I bounced back up and I was like clear headed. I was like grand. And then I was kind of in the pocket again. If you look, I thought he was going to fire a hook. And then with my gloves, this is not enough. No, Do you know what I mean? No. So I went like that. No, they, no, they catch it. Yeah, they kind of they catch the shot. Yeah. And I was kind of like this. And he just came in and went bang. Straight, straight there in like the side of the ear. No, this is a right hand first. Okay. The, the, he helped me at, uh, with the right hand oh, straight to the, the ear. Like and the fucking ear. Paddy, you see the sidekick? I didn't know I got caught with that until oh, I watched the video. <laughs> until I watched the video, I was. I was on. I was on my feet, and he looked, and I was gone. And he side kicked me. I kind of shot in a little bit, and then he came in on the floor. But you see, after that right hand, I don't remember. Uh, uh, nah, I remember waking up, not waking it up because yeah, I didn't go yeah, to the sleep. Yeah, that just goes. I did. I woke. Up, I came around in the dressing room. I was like, "Oh, I've been going to get a medical," and they're like, "You just got your medical." <laughs> I was like, all right. Do you know what I mean? I was uh, caught out cold. Do you know what I mean? And that's that was gone. Yeah, you have to say, man, balls like a Bengali tiger on you. You took it on the chin, and As you know always. what? You took it really, really well. I have to say, look, like, yeah. there's no doubt at the start you were a bit frustrated, but like, hey, look. And that's what got me be. It's a mindset. Yeah. You know, and it, even though when I come out to me fights, I'm always like, do you know what I mean? I always get up in the fella's face. I always speak and say it is because when you do that and you win, that's a big, big rise. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a big rise. You know what I mean? Everyone goes, he went out there, talked to talk, and he walked the walk. This time I didn't do. But if I had have done it, I would have went boom. But, but even that, I, I, I think I think your stock row as, as well. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. I think Because uh, I, I think it's important that, that people do see the idea that you wouldn't know who James was and the reason why you don't know who his opponent is because not that his opponent doesn't talk the way James talks but it, it is a show as well. Yeah, you know? it yeah. is an the people are scared business. of the big fall so they don't want to talk a big talk yeah, exactly, and kiss yeah. the fall because it's a lot bigger. And then it's like, if I'd have kept quiet and I got beat the way I got beat it wouldn't have been as bad. It wouldn't have had as many people coming on giving me this messages and so. The, the stock rises. As well, do you know what I mean? Way, you know what Either mean? way, so it is. But I'm not scared of a big fall because it's not I've known the fall off room. You know, you're not, you're not stupid. You know yeah, this Yeah, do you know what I mean? You can't, it, it's not boxing, it's not something, you cannot go on being. Yeah, it's yeah, just so, it's just the way it is. You know but what I mean? the way, the thing that it, that, that beat me, if you look at me other fights, I always walk up into their face and I always do the same thing and I, I always will. But I got, but I never get emotionally yeah, invested yeah. in it myself. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know My, what you mean. So it is, but this time, I got caught up in it myself yeah. and I wanted to go in there. I was like, I'm going to go in there and have a knock, yeah, yeah. kill him, kill him. And if you look at the first couple of minutes, I was like back in, I was picking it out and I was like in and out, not getting caught with the shots. Then after a while I got, I'm just going to stand here. Catch I'm it. just going to, <clears throat> do you know what I mean? I don't care. Did. He hits me. He hit me once. I remember he caught me straight up the mouth with a straight right hand. It was clean as I like and it was nothing. I was like, this is nothing. I'm staying in here. Yeah. And then he caught me with the right shot. And I was gone. Do you know what I mean? So from someone hits you a clean right, and you're like, "This is nothing." But then he just catches you in the this right is place. Like I was saying to you, like, you get hit, you're like, "Yeah, that was hard." 
the last thing you need to do was get hit with a get- power shot. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? But yeah, your bell's already ringing. Like. And for folks, they may... He stayed calm. He stayed calm. Yeah. He, he didn't. didn't need that, I give he, him that. He stayed calm. And maybe that's why I got more and more. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Because right. I've never experienced that. I've always stayed calm and made people get angry get at me and go, yeah. this little bollocks in here talking all this <laughs> shit. And then I'm just sitting there. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like the little yeah. nine fell at school. He throws in like a no throw stuff at you. Uh, and you can see the yeah. sweat. And then he never gets caught. So it is, that's how I feel when I'm in fighting them, just that little annoying fellow winds them all up and they always get over. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're all older, you know what I mean? So they're all like 30 and stuff, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, and I'm that little young fellow coming in and just pestering and pestering, getting them to fire from the fences and then I'm, I'm in and out because I'm still calm. Definitely. But that time I, I didn't stay calm, I stayed in the pocket. I got aggressive, he caught me, I got angry. Do you know what I mean? Which there's no room for anger and oh. fighting. There's no room for aggressive. There's no room for being angry because there's nothing to be angry about. And there's thinking man's sport. And I should see what I'm best at. I'm usually being out, out tricking people, outsmarting people. And that's not what I did. I went up for a fight and I got a fight and I got clipped and got put away. I think I think you're grappling. I think when you, when you hit people with your grappling, they don't know how good it actually yeah, is. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like James is, James is fucking... Any time I ever see you rolling with someone and a picture going up, I can nearly see that face with her like, uh, like uh, he's fucking uh, good. Uh, you know, you're heavier than you look. Yeah, you're on top of and you're stronger. You're stronger than you look when you're on top. Yeah, you're yeah, on top so it is, but and your understanding of it is from, from a youth. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, big time. Because I think it's I simplified it rather than going. You see, like there's people. You'd be a bit like this here as well. You got like you've got a mind where you can like do ten million different. You're good at like you can like. Triangle, I can switch to this, I can Keep do to that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? You've got all these different... Where I'm not really... Like, my mind like it gets like, confused when I get so much information. So I'm more like, I'll just like kind of get this position and see what happens for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is where, like, you ever see, like, Lee Hammond, like, fucking one of the fucking best grapplers I've ever rolled with? He's got, like, he'll do this, he'll systems. do that. He's got systems or, and he's yeah, got, yeah, like, yeah. one, two, three, four. Do you know what I mean? Is where I've just got... I go in... And then I just put the pressure on and see what way you'll go from it. And then yeah. I'll put another pressure on and I'll just go and go yeah. and go and like kind of smother. Try, eat them, like try and eat them. Do you know what I mean? Get time. tighter and tighter and tighter. And people just don't like, there's some people that they just can't, it's different to react to because they're more used to people putting on systems. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And that's it's, just, it's like that's that not gunny me. pressure. Yeah, like it's kind of like that. Kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Someone hit me with a bleeding guard past the other day. Never seen it in my life. But it was just like the glacier I passed, man. And I'm telling you now, wow, oh, man, I was savage. Yeah, <laughs> the like, pressure for me. I haven't, I haven't, yeah. I haven't got so hit with so much jiu-jitsu in a while. Where, not that I, I hadn't seen it. I'm like, what was that? I had yeah. a million different questions. Yeah. Like, a, like a, a new guy all over again. Yeah, it it's dead when that happens, isn't it? Was. And that's why I always feel like when you can when you can do a pressure, the moves that will, if you can do that right first, then the little, the other, oh, yeah, that's going to be oh, simple. Man, yeah, and that's yeah. why I feel like I get yeah. everyone's back so often is the because pressure the, the pressure gives the back. That's the and then all I need to know is a rain I choke, do you know what I mean? I haven't done an arm bar in years. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just... Book box. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? In MMA get top, no. no bottom, do you know what I mean? And I learned that the hard way a few times, get me head punched in. So anybody who ever say that they don't go on bum, you need to know like Don't go on yeah. bum. A few smacks to the head, you'll... You'll get that sorted out. Right? You know what, James? It's been like, and, and, and it's hard to believe that you're still only fucking 21. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the, I think this is the side that a lot of people don't see. Yeah. And it's um like, it, it, it's always the side I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, people say to me, look, because it's the way it works. It's because of you, huh? You know what I mean? Like, the way people come up to you and say, you're some Paddy Hulan's beard, so awesome. Yeah. Like, <laughs> really, you know, like, you know, people say, James, yeah. like, James, like, is, is he like that in real life? Is he like yeah. that? Like, like, you know, and it kind of reminds me of, of the Connor thing as well, because people are like, it's kind of like that in real life. Yeah. But now it's you as well. Yeah. And I'd be like, if you met James, oh, like, yeah. you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a great guy. Yeah, no, but kid. people don't realise that when you go into in a fight or whatever, and the way I look at it, you have to get, I'm going to kill that person in front of me. And you've got, you've got to put shield up. And that. then it's like, he's there to take away everything I've always dreamed of. That's a man who's trying to do something to me. Do you know what I mean? He's trying to hurt me. He's trying to take away everything that I've always dreamed of. So I'm not going to be... He's not He's not my friend. He's there to take something that I want and he's there to get in the way of it and he's there to get it. And I'm going, I'm getting it first and he's not getting in the way so I have to get him out of the way 
and then go. Do you know what I mean? So if someone came to rob your house, do you know what I mean? Are you going to just sit there and be like, um, oh, no, I mean, so I'm sure we'll, no, I mean, we'll go and sort that out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can take your, your bit and, it, and that's it. No Get chance. Deadly, I'm going to it, kill that it's fella. It's robbery, after it, after it, do you know what I mean? If he, if he robs my house or I rob his, after it's done, then we can sort it out. Do you know what I mean? But in the meantime, he's already taken away my dreams and, no, I'm not going to be nice to any man who's trying to take away my dreams. Yeah, <laughs> I won't prod you too much. Yeah. Away. That, was, that was episode 42. 42? That was episode 42 of No Shame. Uh, make sure you download the Lemur app. Follow me on the Lemur app. You can ask me some questions. And if you have any questions for James that you might want to say, send get them on. Yeah, I'll get, them get them you on. an answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I've anything else to say to them. No, I think right. that's it. Well, loads of jiu-jitsu to uh, be teaching yeah. me. James, thank you for coming <laughs> nice on. Nice one, buddy. Appreciate it, bro. It's good to be Look on. Look after yourself. Tune in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share.